hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at multi-charts and we're gonna talk about how to get started and open up a chart. So the first thing that you wanna do is ensure that you're connected to your data provider. In this case, I'm using a rhythmic paper trading account. You can see that here that I am connected with the green dot here. If you're not connected and you've already set up your uh, connection here, just right mouse click on that tab and then select connect here. You can see since I'm already connected, it'll say disconnect. Now to add an actual chart, uh, we can do that using a few different menus, but uh, the most basic menu here we can use is the file menu. So we'll go to the upper left hand corner, I'll select file, new, and then we'll say chart window here, and that'll bring us up to uh, configure the chart. Now you'll have to add in a symbol here. So you gotta show which symbol you wanna actually add to your chart. In this case, I'm gonna use the ES. And you want to ensure that your data source that is configured here is selected. Since I'm using a rhythmic paper trading, we happen to use the uh, Zenfire option here. So I'll select that and then select OK. So now by default, I just have a regular ES chart with a line on close bar type. We also have a five minute period uh, happening here. And then I can resize this chart, of course, just like most windows uh, within windows. So I can move it around. I can adjust it. I can also do things like uh, maximize it here if I wanted to take up most of the space. Now what you'll notice is when it's maximized here uh, to actually um, unmaximize it or uh, kind of bring it down so that we can adjust it, we'll want to use these options up here. So I'll select the maximize button and now I have it here and I can adjust it from here. And you can see I can move it around a bit. Now, for example, say I didn't want to use the line on close, which we see by default. Um, there's a couple of different ways we can change that. One way that we can change that is to use the actual toolbar. We have a toolbar full of bar types that we can choose from. Uh, for example, we can see the line on close uh, is uh, chosen here. If I wanted to choose, for example, maybe the hollow candlestick chart option, I'll just select that and I'll just switch us out here. Now we can also adjust that within another menu, that configuration menu that we saw just a few minutes earlier here. So to access that menu, we'll right mouse click here and select format instruments. Now when we select that, we see that kind of familiar window, but if we select the style tab, we can actually change uh, to all of those different options just from this window as well. So I'll select a regular candlestick option here and you'll see that that will apply. We can also adjust the time frame within there as well. So if we go back to that window, I'll select Format Instruments. We'll go to the Settings portion here, and I can choose uh, kind of the resolution that I want to use as well as uh, some other options. For example, a regular chart type, where we also have options for Kagi, Renko, Line Break, and uh, a few more as well. We'll choose regular for now. Let's say I wanted to actually go to a smaller time frame. We'll choose one, and that will be one minute. You see we have options here. For example, maybe I wanted a one day. I could switch there as well, but I'll just choose a one minute for now, and we'll go ahead and select OK. And now we have that a one minute chart right here. Uh, and again, we can add things like uh, different bar types as well as uh, kind of adjust it using these menus here and it's docked and ready to go. If you have any questions about getting started and opening up a chart within multi-charts, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com.